I'm back. Okay, so ignore the 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 thing here it is working. Banana. Um the only thing that's not working is in my opinion the camera, which is too nice here and then like it needs to lower the amount. I think it's because it's locked the whole screen here. Maybe it's like too much, like 66% of the screen is there. If I cut this number down, wait, we actually want to, do we want to minus more? We actually want to minus more. What if I just minus cam width? In we get stupid black flash, I hate it. Oh, that's worse. Oh, that's so much worse. How long does it take to catch up? It never catches up. The minus is too much. Oh, okay, so that's weird. I didn't expect that. I'm sort of me messing with stuff that I coded ages ago, so my memory of like the hows and whys is a bit fuzzy. I'm picking up the, I'm, you know, picking up my own logic against Lolly. A lot of the time, I just, if I see stuff in action and pull it apart that way, it's easier than reading the code. Right, there we go. That's much nicer. So that's at 50%. Oh, we're like dead in the middle of the screen now. Um, it is like, yeah. So that's like if we're dead center. I think in, for this, it's probably better that it's dead center. You still don't move until you get to the middle of the screen, and then the screen picks up. But it does mean that you'll always move. Maybe I should make it a little bit bigger so you can, whichever side you're on, you'll. So there's like always a. If you change direction, it'd be nice if there's like a little bit of wiggle room rather than it instantly moving. Or is that not good? I don't know. I feel like it would be good. I'll try 5 5 and see how that looks, and then hope. Then it's NPC time. gonna be awesome. I love that. Oh no, that doesn't really make much of a difference. It's not really, it's not actually cutting it down. It's not like giving me a bit of wiggle room. All it's doing is just picking the bit of the screen that it stopped scrolling on. Why is that? Thanks for the dragon's dog. Oh, you got your extra free vote. Nice. Last time it just didn't let anyone vote. Melio. How are we moving in the... How are we moving in the other one? In the Y room? I don't mind the... I think it's... In, is it instant in the Y room? Yeah, it is. It's like... Is it instant? So that's a nothing... Oh, well... Yeah, like, it's like instant movement. It's not like, when you change direction, there isn't a bit of wiggle room. The, it all bounces up and down with you. But in that case, though, they should be consistent. Okay, so it's... I don't know if it's better to have, that, have said wiggle room or not. How a lot of cameras work is there's, like, a box around you, and it's not until you, like, when you touch the edge of the box you move the camera. But I've obviously not done it like that. And I remember going through this, but I can't remember why. I can't remember my logic as to why I didn't want that. And I don't know if it's just because it was like annoying as you go up, because you're going up quite quickly. I didn't know if it didn't give you enough room to like view. But like obviously with the walls going up and down quite as much as that, just worried to uh, be be disorientating now. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But we'd always be in like the center of the thing. We could actually make it so that you can see a little further ahead. Actually, now I'm thinking. I'm thinking the opposite now. Maybe make it so that you can see a little bit further ahead. Yeah. So 66. It's always putting us a third of the way up the screen. So you can always see two thirds ahead. I think it's smart, but it, I don't know if it'd be better if it wavered between like 6 and 66, you know? 
But that, that's... What do you think of that? Oh, that always puts us there when we go backwards, though. There's an easy way to deal with that that I can think of right away. Because when we turn around, we'd actually want to then change it if we didn't have it halfway. Because that's quite nice, I think. You can see a lot of the room and it moves with you. That's not nice. So, let me think about that. Um, right, so we're going to need um, VIR. Um, yeah, just put XX. Equals. Uh, no, uh, VRRXX, right? And then if. OBJ underscore. Wait, am I using player or following? I should use following in case we follow something else. If following, I mean, not the player, then it's not gonna have, it'd probably be fine. Um, so I don't want it to like snap to it either. No, do you know what? I'm not gonna mess with this right now. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a think about this. I don't think this is a good idea to do on stream because it's gonna drive me nuts. I think we'll set it to 50 for now, Just, and then do the box. Like if I do the the box thing, and then I can change the start where the box fits. But I need to look at. I need to get some help on that because my brain's not having that right now. That's fine. Some stuff's not. I'm gonna put it in my my notes though. So uh, I didn't check the wall slider again. Th that's actually kind of done. Camera doesn't work. Scrolling board doesn't work. Will they do now? Good, good for me. So I'm just gonna um, there's the camera thing there. I'm gonna put it here. Um, Try that, I think. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, so... I just realized you can probably just do that down here. Yeah, there's like a wiggle room thing. But before I screw with the camera... Yeah, just lock it up. Just do it later. Just do what you had planned. So, it's NPC time! Holy shit, so happy. So excited. So, there's quite a lot to do for this guy. There's a ton to do for this guy, actually. So, we'll first, we'll get our NPC in. So, this is going to be first NPC, I assume, we're going to meet. It's called NPC1. So, I'm going to put uh, SPR underscore NPC underscore flower knight. I don't know if it's a flower. I'm just going to put knight. I don't know. If we have other knights, then that'll cause a problem. But for now, it's fine. He's got loads of cool animations and stuff. He's got a few, and he looks sick. Cool as hell. So, uh, characters. Uh, effects enemies make characters. We need a new group, and we're going to call it NPCs. And stick him in there. And we're going to need a thing for him. We're going to need a mask, because he's got so many different stuff. But what is his size? He's a 50, 53 by 66 grid. So we want to make a new sprite. Uh, SPR NPC Knight Mask. And it's 5366. Grab a frame and stick it in there. So let see, let's go to that one. What we want to do is we just nab him, like here, nab this guy. So how many pixels is he away? He's one pixel away from the border and his feet touch the ground. I love pixel art for this kind of stuff. It's so much easier. But you can get it exact. The image. Oh, that says 52. Must have mistyped it. 
needs to be exactly the same size, so. I'm gonna double check I didn't mess that up now. No, it's 53, I must have mistyped it. So we have him here, and it's gonna go like that. So that if, this, if we ever see this, something's gone wrong. He sits like that, right? There's his map. And um, I guess we want it bottom middle, I guess. But yeah, that's a good place for his sprite origin, I think. Excellent. So we got our knight now. And we need to make an object. Make another group for NPCs. And create. I'm going to make an object, I guess, and call it... Um, obj underscore talkable. So this is like all the stuff you can, or maybe just obj underscore npcs. Because this way, when you go up and press on an npc, um, they can all react in under a system. They can use the same system. And then we're gonna go obj objects and obj underscore npc underscore. Um, I call them. Right. Also, I, the fact that I've used caps is annoying. There. Uh, we'll call it OBJ parent. I think NPCs. And then if we go one night. We can set a sprite that rhymes. Boom. And um, then we can. No, no, don't change that. Oh wait. We go to the parent. Uh, objects. I'm guessing they're all going to react like differently. They're all going to, you know, like animate differently. So now I'm going to animate, do his animation here, uh, but do the talky stuff in the parent. Right. So as different animations. I need to make sure I get these right. So, we've got an idle animation. And, I, and then here there's like a random one. And then when you talk to him, that's awesome. So, okay. So, we're going to have a uh, create event. This is like deal with animation. Uh, I'm going to do event inherited uh, because they will not have to inherit the event and then animation. So we're going to have anim state equals zero and may maybe I'll do an enumerate. No. Yeah. Just do one. And we're going to have idle. And we're going to have, um, idle, random, oh, that's a thing, rand, and we're going to have talking, right? And those are three, like, states of animation that you can be in, and then he's got, so a lot, he'll start idle, right? With him being idle, right, we've got to now look at some other things. So, he's got... Damn, got a lot of stuff going on. So, we're going to need frame width and frame height. Uh, which was 53, 66. Frame frame height, and we're going to have X-frame, which is zero, and Y-frame, which is zero, um, and then we need uh, an anim length. So we'll have anim length idle, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Anim, plan, uh, what's the other one? So you got idle, and then you've got a random, which is 
six, and then Adam, Glenn, Talk, and that's a much bigger one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Big animation. It's a lot of, a lot of work by side. So, and then you want anim length equals anim length idle, just to get it going. Um, and then you want anim speed. Um, now, are these all going to be the same? I doubt it. I don't think so. Okay, they've got like crazy differences, which is fine. I've done this all before. But it starts at 150, so what's 150? 150 is 0.12, so that's fine. Um, so that's ourselves, so that's absolutely fine. That's great. So now what we want to do is go into the draw then. Draw. Uh, draw his animation. So, um, it's going to pick all the different things. We can actually copy this from anything else that's already got. We do need to do that. So, this is what I need here. Oh, we got like X offsets and Y offsets. That's a really good point. So, I'm not going to sprite. I'm just going to put SBR underscore... Uh, NPC night zero floor X frame frame width X frame frame width and everything yeah X frame frame height plus three I don't think we need a plus three um frame width frame height we don't need that and X offset Y offset so we'll get those two so um X offset equals sprite oh god what's the command for this really annoying there I could just use those I don't know why I don't wouldn't that be easier why just use those sometimes you have to change it so in the player we have to change it that'll be why Whereas the, this guy's isn't going to change, so that's absolutely fine. So we don't need these. So what we need to do next is... Um, make it move. So let's draw character. And then what we need to do here is uh, animate. And so it's anim. So x frame. Plus equals anim speed. If X frame, I should have script. I use this all the time. I don't know why I don't have this as a script. It'd be super useful. I'm not gonna do it now though. Is greater than anim length. X frame is zero. I use that all the time. Right, he doesn't like this. Oh, there we go. I just plonk him in the respite area and he, he won't be able to well, like, talk to him or anything yet but, oh god I can't even see him dude I can't fucking see him because it's so dark ah he's there so if I just make him touch the ground he should just do his regular idle animation only just doing it he's just out here doing it look at him he's just going for it hell yeah hey how you doing he's huge he's so terrifying look at him i'm just a little guy and he's just this big old dude um hell yeah okay that's sick is that actually where he stands i didn't really look i just plonked him somewhere have a look uh, no, it's not. He doesn't, because you won't be able to talk to him up there very well. He stands 
on this here, actually. Now, do we want him... Does his, his feet... I'm guessing he's got, like, the... Like that. I have this guide open. I should just guide open at all times. I want to see if his feet have got one pixel or not. They do. Okay, make sure we've got the one pixel. Okay, so every... Um... So what we're gonna do is swap his state every seven to twelve seconds. Now that is fine. I can do that. So what we want to do then is um, so that's like Adam states here. So this is like all drawing stuff. So just keep that there. Um, so we've got Adam's state is zero, and then what we want to do is every 7 to 12 seconds, we want to make him do the random. Uh, so we'll put like change to rand. Random is false, right? And then alarm zero um, equals choose. Not choose. Um, we want. I random range and it's seven times room speed twelve times room speed. So that's gonna choose between seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and set the alarm to go off. And that'll change that. So we can make that alarm. So alarm zero. This is do random animation. And uh, we're gonna put um, change to random is true. Wait, do we? No, we don't need that. We don't need change to. No, we don't need this. Don't don't do that. That's silly. So what we can just do. I'm back. Okay, so ignore the 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 thing here it is working. Banana. Um the only thing that's not working is in my opinion the camera, which is too nice here and then like it needs to lower the amount. I think it's because it's lo the whole screen here. Maybe it's like too much, like 66% of the screen is there. If I cut this number down, wait, we actually want to, do we want to minus more? We actually want to minus more. What if I just minus cam width? Can we get stupid black flash? I hate it. Oh, that's worse. Oh, that's so much worse. How long does it take to catch up? It never catches up. The minus is too much. Oh, okay, so that's weird. I didn't expect that. I'm sort of me messing with stuff that I coded ages ago, so my memory of like the hows and whys is a bit fuzzy. I'm picking up the, I'm you know picking up my own logic again slowly. A lot of the time, I like to see if I see stuff in action and pull it apart that way. It's easier than reading the code. Right, there we go. That's much nicer. So that's at 50%. So we're like dead in the middle of the screen now. Um, It is like... Yeah. So that's like if we're dead center. I think in, for this, it's probably better that it's dead center. You still don't move until you get to the middle of the screen. And then the screen picks up. But it does mean that you'll always move. Maybe I should make it a little bit bigger so you can, whichever side you're on, you'll... So there's like always a, if you change direction, it'd be nice if there's like a little bit of wiggle room rather than it instantly moving. Oh, is that not good? I don't know. I feel like it would be good. I'll try 5-5 five, five and see how that looks. And then, hope, then it's NPC time. It's just gonna be awesome. I love that. 
Oh, no, that doesn't really make much of a difference. It's not really, it's not actually cutting it down. It's not like giving me a bit of wiggle room. All it's doing is just picking the bit of the screen that it stopped scrolling on. Why is that? Thanks for the dragon's dog. Oh, you got your extra free vote. Nice. Last time it just didn't let anyone vote. Melio. How are we moving in the... How are we moving in the other one? In the Y room? I don't mind the... I think it's... In, is it instant in the Y room? Yeah, it is. It's like... Is it instant? So that's it. nothing... Oh, well. Yeah, like, it's like instant movement. There's not like... When you change direction, there isn't a bit of wiggle room. The, it all bounces up and down with you. But in that case, the, they should be consistent. Okay, so if... I don't know if it'd be better to have that have said wiggle room or not. How a lot of cameras work is there's like a box around you and it's not until you like when you touch the edge of the box you move the camera. But I've obviously not done it like that. And I remember going through this, but I can't remember why. I can't remember my logic as to why I didn't want that. And I don't know if it's just because it was like annoying as you go up because you're going up quite quickly i didn't know if it didn't give you enough room to like view but like obviously with the walls going up and down quite as much as that just worried uh they'll be disorientating now we'll have to see we'll have to see so we'd always be in like the center of the thing We could actually make it so that you can see a little further ahead. Actually, now I'm thinking I'm thinking the opposite now. Maybe make it so that you can see a little bit further ahead. Yeah, so 66, it's always putting us a third of the way up the screen. So you can always see two thirds ahead. I think it's smart, but it, I don't know if it'd be better if it wavered between like six and 66, you know? So there, that's, what do you think of that? Oh, that's always puts us there when we go backwards though. There's an easy way to deal with that, that I can think of right away. Because when we turn around, we'd actually want to then change it if we didn't have it halfway. Because that's quite nice, I think. You can see a lot of the room and it moves with you. That's not nice. So, let me think about that. Um, right, so we're going to need... Um, yeah, yeah. Um, just put xx equals uh no uh vrrxx right and then if obj underscore wait am i using player or following i should use following in case we follow something else if following i mean not the player then it's not gonna have a probably be fine um I don't want it to like snap to it either. No, do you know what? I'm not gonna mess with this right now. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a think about this. I don't think this is a good idea to do on stream because it's gonna drive me nuts. I think we'll set it to fifty for now, because and then do the box. Like if I do the the box thing, and then I can change this that where the box fits. But I need to look at. I need to get some help on that because my brain's not having that right now. That's fine. Some stuff's not. I'm gonna put it in my my notes though. So I didn't check the wall slider again. That's actually kind of done. Camera doesn't work. Scrolling board doesn't work. Well, they do now. Good. Good for me. So I'm just gonna um, There's a camera thing there. I'm gonna put it here. Um, camera. Uh, uh, 
Try that, I think. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, so I just realized you can probably just do that down here. There's like a wiggle room thing. But before I screw with the camera, yeah, just lock it up. Just do it later. Just do what you had planned. So it's NPC time. Holy shit. So happy. So excited. So there's quite a lot to do for this guy. There's a ton to do for this guy, actually. So we'll first, we'll get our NPC in. So this is going to be first NPC I assume we're going to meet. It's called NPC1. So I'm going to put uh, SPR underscore NPC underscore flower night. I don't know it's a flower. I'm just going to put night. I don't know if we have other nights and that'll cause a problem. But for now it's fine. He's got loads of cool animations and stuff. He's got a few and he looks sick. Cool as hell. So, uh, characters. Uh, effects enemies make characters. We need a new group and we're going to call it NPCs. And stick him in there. And we're going to need a thing for him. We're going to need a mask because he's got so many different stuff. So what is his size? He's a 50, 53 by 66 grid. So we want to make a new sprite. Uh, SBR NPC Night Mask. And it's 5366. Grab a frame and stick it in there. So, you know, these, you can get rid of that one. What we want to do is we just nab him, like here, nab this guy. So, how many pixels is he away? He's one pixel away from the border and his feet touch the ground. I love pixel art for this kind of stuff, it's so much easier. But you can get it exact. The image. Oh, that says 52. I must have mistyped it. it. Needs to be exactly the same size, so. I'm gonna double check I didn't mess that up now. No, it's 53. I must have mistyped it. So we have him here, and it's gonna go like that. So that if this if we ever see this, something's gone wrong. He sits like that, right? There's his mask. And um, I guess we want it bottom middle, I guess. That, yeah, that's a good place for his sprite origin, I think. Excellent. So we got our knight now. And we need to make an object. Make another group for NPCs. And create. I'm going to make an object, I guess, and call it um obj underscore talkable so this is like all the stuff you can or maybe just obj underscore npcs because this way when you go up and press on an npc um they can all react in under a system they can use the same system and then we're gonna go obj objects and obj underscore npc underscore um, I call them night. Also, I, the fact that I've used caps is annoying. There, we'll call it OBJ parent. I think NPCs. And then if we got one night. We can set a sprite that rhymes. Boom, and um, then we can. Oh no, don't change that. Oh wait, we can go to the parent. That uh, objects, characters. Duh, 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 duh. I'm guessing they're all gonna react like differently. They're all gonna, you know, like animate differently. So for now, I'm gonna animate, do his animation here, uh, but do the talky stuff in the parent. Right. So has different animations. I need to make sure I get these right. So we've got an idle animation. And, I, and then here there's like a random one. 
and then when you talk to him, that's awesome. So, okay. So we're gonna have uh, in the create event. This is like deal with animation. Uh, I'm gonna do event inherited uh, because they will no doubt have to inherit the event and then animation. So we're gonna have anim state equals zero and may maybe I'll do an enumerate now. Yeah, just do one. And we're gonna have idle and we're gonna have um, Idle, random, oh, that's a thing. Rand, and we're gonna have talking, right? And those are his three like states of animation that you can be in, and then he's got, so a lot, he'll start idle, right? So, with him being idle, right, we gotta now look at some other things. So, he's got, damn. Got a lot of stuff going on. So we're gonna need frame width and frame height. Uh, which was 5366. Frame width and frame height, and we're gonna have X frame, which is zero, and Y frame, which is zero. Um, and then we need uh, an anim length. So we'll have anim length idle, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Anim length. Uh, what's the other one? So you got idle. And then you've got a random, which is six, and then anim, plan, talk, and that's a much bigger one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Big animation. It's a lot of, a lot of work by side. So, and then you want anim length equals anim length idle just to get it going um, and then you want anim speed um, now are these all going to be the same I doubt it I don't think so okay they got like crazy differences which is fine I've done this all before but it starts at 150 so what's one 150 is 0.12, so that's fine. Um, set them ourselves, so that's absolutely fine. That's great. So now what we want to do is go into the draw then. Draw, uh, draw his animation. So, um. It's gonna pick all the different things. We can actually copy this from anything else that's already got. We do need to do that. So this is what I need here. Oh, we got like X offsets and Y offsets. That's a really good point. So I'm not gonna sprite. I'm just gonna put SPR underscore uh, MPC night. Zero, floor, X frame, frame width. We have X frame and frame width and everything, yeah. X frame, frame height, plus three. I don't think we need a plus three. Um, frame width, frame height, we don't need that. And X offset, Y offset. So we'll get those two. So um, X offset equals sprite. Oh god, what's the command for this? Really annoying. There. 
I could just use those. I don't know why I don't. Wouldn't that be easier? Why just use those? Sometimes you have to change it. So in the player, we have to change it. That'll be why. Whereas the, this guy's isn't going to change. So that's absolutely fine. So we don't need these. So what we need to do next is... Um, make it move. So let's draw character. And then what we need to do here is uh, animate. And so it's anim dot x frame plus equals anim speed if x frame. I should have script. I use this all the time. I don't know why I don't have this as a script. It'd be super useful. I'm not gonna do it now though. Is greater than anim length. X frame is zero. I use that all the time. Right, he doesn't like this. Oh, there we go. If I just plonk him in the res respite area, and he, he won't be able to well, like, talk to him or anything yet. But, oh god, I can't even see him. Dude, I can't fucking see him because it's so dark. Ah! Okay, he's there. So if I just make him touch the ground, he should just do his regular idle animation only. Damn, he's just doing it. He's just out here doing it. Look at him. He's just going for it. Hell yeah. Hey, how you doing? He's huge, he's so terrifying, look at him. I'm just a little guy and he's just this big old dude. Um, hell yeah. Okay, that's sick. Is that actually where he stands? I didn't really look. I just plonked him somewhere. Have a look. Uh, no, it's not. He doesn't, because you won't be able to talk to him up there very well. He stands on this here, actually. Now, do we want him... Does his, his feet... I'm guessing he's got, like, the... Like that. I have this guide open. I should just guide open at all times. I want to see if his feet have got one pixel or not. They do. Okay, make sure we've got the one pixel. Okay, so every... Um... So what we're gonna do is swap his state every seven to 12 seconds. Now that is fine, I can do that. So, what we wanna do then is, um, so that's like anim states here. So this is like all drawing stuff. So just keep that there. Um, so we've got anim state is zero, and then what we want to do is every 7 to 12 seconds, we want to make him do the random. Uh, so we'll put like change to rand. Random is false, right? And then alarm zero um, equals choose. Did not choose. Um, we want. Uh, I random range and it's seven times room speed, 12 times room speed. So that's gonna choose between seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and set the alarm to go off. And that'll change that. So we need to make that alarm. So alarm zero. This is do random animation and uh, we're gonna put um, change to random is true wait do we no nah, we don't need that we don't need change to no we don't need this don't don't do that that's silly so what we can just do is put um, anim states equals anim states dot random x frame 
equals zero. Why have I even bothered with the states? I might just do it all in here. I might get rid of the states. We'll see. Why for it? Yeah, I might as well just do it here. It's just kind of silly not to. Um, what am I doing? Yframe is one. And um, hey Taylor. Jesus, I hope you uh, haven't started your car yet. You can't be text text twitching. It's no, that's not right. Drive twitching. Text the disco. Animation length equals anim length. God, why does it pick stuff from other ones? Like, why does it do that? Um, anim speed. Yeah, because I could just use wireframe to control it. I'm getting rid of this shit. I can't be asked. Just go away. All sucks. Um, and we'll just put this to the bottom. Change to random anim. Okay. So anim speed. What's the anim speed? So he is 70, 70, 50, 5, 70, 70, 50, 500, 100, 500, 70. God damn, that's a lot of changes. Um, but we can sort that out, no problem. So what are we starting on here? We're starting on a 70. 70 is... 0.23 right and then in the draw event I guess we we can do it in the draw event I'm pretty certain without any issues and what we can just do is uh, change and speed and then just put if wireframe is um, on So this is for the random one. If X frame is uh, is less than three or X frame is great. So you guys can't see that way. It starts with two 70s and it ends with a 70, so they need to be the same. Um, or is there a one, two, three, four, five, six? Or just if it equals. Oh no, if it's. You can't. Yeah. Just do it greater than five. Anim speed equals 0.23, we said, right? Else if. Um, X frame. Else, if floor X frame, probably the easiest way of doing it. Floor X frame equals uh, two, three, one, two, three, four. How that works? Yeah, it must do. Yeah. Because someone else floats it. What? Because no. Five, wouldn't it? No, yeah, it's worked so far. Let's just see if it works. And speed equals whatever a hundred is. Not point one six. Else. X rim. God, we haven't had a 500 yet. But I guess it's just 0.16 divided by 5. Not 0.032. Oh yeah, I could have just divided the 51. That's fine. Okay. I want him to stay in this... Um, mode, so I'm not going to set him to the cart because I just want to test that those are correct. So eventually he'll hit that mode and he'll just stay in it. Which is a-okay. It'll take him 7 to 10 
seconds. That's only 12 seconds to get there. He does his normal animation. Okay. He, um... Got stuck. <laughs> so that's fun. Wait, he doesn't just turn his head though, right? Does he? Is that all he does? Just like turn his head? Oh, he does! He just turns his head and then he needs to go back. He's actually stuck. So that's fine. He actually meant to get stuck, but we need to see... Um... Are those the right number of frames? Probably not. I don't know where the long one is, so I'm gonna record it and find out. Such a, it's quite a quick animation. I didn't realize how quick it'd be. So, dude, it's so it's very fast. Huh. I didn't expect it to be so quick. Okay, that's actually not helpful at all. Let me have a look at the frames and which one's meant to be the longest. So when he turns away... Oh, there's another frame, like, after he turns away that doesn't seem to be even playing. I've done... Oh, I oh, did it. So he, like, turns away. I don't know why his eyes blink out, but I don't think that's actually true. I think that's... He has the blood. Oh no, they do blink out. They blink out on the 100. No, that's good. They are meant to blink out. That's awesome. But then they don't blink out anymore. Oh, they blinked out there, though. Are they blinking out every time? No, I don't know. It doesn't. That doesn't look right. So, if X frame is less than three or greater than five. So we always do if X frame is greater. Yeah, because it rounds down. Down. It rounds down. So that's actually like. 0 to 0.99, yeah, okay, I've not done this right, I've not done this right, that's why. Okay, so it's actually, you got to take one off. So, let's go back to the drawing board. So, it's 0, 1, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, it is 5 though. How did I get that right? It's actually 0, 1, 2. If it's less than two, because yeah, that'll get us to two. Okay. So, and then if the floor of X frame is zero, one, two, three, then it's that one, else it's 0 0.332. Let's see if that looks any better. Oh, I've done that wrong. gonna watch him he won't change back he'll just get stuck in a loop again it's not a very nice loop for him because he's gonna break his little neck but it's so quick okay I'm gonna make him change back because I can't tell from that's not very helpful so um if it goes to that then equals one and then I'm just gonna put um change from change back to idle if uh, x frame does not equal no if y frame sorry if y frame is greater than zero because I think we'll want this to happen no matter what he's doing as long as he's not doing uh, is idle. So it's greater than zero and it goes to there. Y frame equals zero. X frame's already gone to zero and alarm. And then just do this again. It resets the alarm, okay? Yeah. We're doing alright. We're like not halfway through the stream yet. We've got an NPC in there. We've got us camera working and stuff. Good agree. Right, okay. So he's there.
Did he even do it? Do do it? I feel like he tried to do something. Oh no, and then he's stuck again. Hmm. Something's not right. Wait. I don't know. That should work. Because it'll play this first. What's going on here? Have I set the random one wrong? Is it... Two, three, four. It's six. It's six. Uh, he's getting stuck. He's not changing. Oh, we're not changing. Oh, that. I mean, that's that needs to change anyway. So we will change that. Oh, shit. oh no, that's fine. We can. Yeah, that's all, that's all good. So just do anim. Anim speed equals whatever it starts on 0.12 this isn't going to fix our problem but then anim length equals anim uh, god there's so many in here anim length idle okay that did need to be fixed to be fair so, a slight issue here is that it doesn't seem to ever get to the end. It seems to go back to zero and just start, like, freaking out. It's not reset the alarm or anything. I don't know why he's, like, freaking out like that. Wait. That's why. That's why I made a typo. That's why. It was like resetting his X frame over and over again instead of resetting his um his animation speed. Seven to twelve seconds is quite a long time. Oh that's perfect. The animation speed looks right, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. Damn, it's, it takes quite a while. Hi, if you're there, do you like the 7 to 12 seconds? It looked, the animation looks so good. Yes, you like that? Okay, I'll leave it at that then. Feels like a long time, but then again, we're not talking to him yet. I take it you want me to do that in speech too, right? Because that's the only time you're going to see it. <laughs> it's like when you're talking. I guess he's like, oh shit, is there anyone behind? No, okay. Okay, so now we got to deal with speech. So. No. They're never going to see it then. Because <laughs> they're not going to spend 7 to 12 seconds in front of him. They're going to see him. And then they're going to talk to him. So that's like second maybe two if they're slow if they're like looking around maybe three tops and then they're gonna talk to him and then they're gonna fuck off uh, and by the time the animation plays they're gonna be about here because then death no one's spending 12 seconds there but I can make it so that doesn't happen okay so I think about. it's fine we can't talk to him yet so just remember to do that okay so oh I think the NPCs need a bigger hitbox than they are that's not gonna be big enough so let's make his Bounding box bigger. So in terms of his like collision mask, we're gonna want that. So how far do you have to be to talk to him? Just realize when we talk to him, 
Can we walk to here or something? Maybe make it like that big. That's pretty big. Okay, we'll try that for now. Um, okay, we can delete that. Start with the the marker. Do that first. Oh, you didn't strip thingy it. It's fine. Get rid of it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this. Um. Now that I know how to hack the system, that's not that bad. I mean, like this. Right. So that's almost probably gonna be way too fast. It's um. First one's five hundred. Rest one hundred. Okay. That's fine. We don't need to stay here anyway, because it doesn't work like that. Oh, right. I just realized that straw event. Okay, it's got to do event inherited as well. Right. So, you got event inherited. And in the NPC parent one. What we want to do is get our draw then, and so it's just like draw speech bubble, speech prompt, I guess. And we're gonna draw. Oh, I'm, did I name it? Did I name the thing? No, oh, she didn't. SPR NPC marker, right? We're playing NPCs. We're gonna make a new group in here actually. And then night. Pick them in there. Man, I get to like, start a new game on Thursday, that'll be fun. That's uh, Psychonauts. I don't really know what to expect. I saw Minion play like a little bit of Psychonauts 2, and that's all I've seen of it. I don't really know much about the game. I know it's on the PS2, I think. Um, but that's all, all I know. I think obviously they've got like psychic powers or something. And they're just like little cartoon creatures. I don't really know what to expect at all. Right, so... The player is gonna have to... The player is gonna have to set him off. I think. Is it, well, no, it doesn't matter. The NPC can just do it. So, add event, and it's collision, objects, characters, uh, maybe, there's not really many, so it's absolutely fine. Uh, draw, tech, uh, have we collided with player? Oh, but then, I needed it to turn off when they're not there. But no, we can't be, we can't be doing that. We can't be doing it that way. Delete that event. I go into just in step event. Um, I'm not. It's too annoying. Just get rid of it. Are we colliding with the player? If um, is it place meeting? Is that the one we want? I don't need any IDs or anything. This is the one I want. So this is actually the right one, place meeting. So there's a place meeting at X, Y, OBJ underscore player. That's going to need a second bracket. Um... We'll just put, um, we don't want this to happen while they're talking. So will just put draw prompt, we'll just put for now, draw, do like this, draw prompt equals true. So, cause you can't talk to them yet, so it's fine. Um, I need to create event, uh, draw prompt, 
false. Um, we also want else draw prompt equals false. All right, so that'll do that. So then what we want to do is draw this prompt. So uh, draw sprite. Oh, we're gonna need a. Why don't I just make the no? Because then you can only have them set to one thing, and it needs to be different. So no, that's fine. So um, draw sprite. Yeah, underscore NPC underscore marker. Sub image will be sub image. Shall no, I'll have marker frame. I guess. So it's zero for now. War marker frame. Uh, X and Y is going to be uh, X, and then it's going to be Y plus. Oh god, I need to get like their own height. How am I going to do that? I'm going to have to store their height in the thing, so that's fine. So, um, oh, we have frame height. Awesome. Do it that way. Um, y plus frame height. Oh, minus, sorry. Minus frame height. And then we want it to float a bit above the head, right? So that's going to put it like... <clears throat> like... Right on the top of the head. Um, Where are we, like... I think we want this middle center. Like that. Oh, but no, mid... Like bottom center like that so that'll draw like that'll be like touching them which we don't want um how many is Psy got an example yeah i'll use size example his oh my god that's quite hard to tell in pixels because it's not really any oh no there's something to give it away there's like one two three four What's the question? I'm just wondering how far above the the guy's head, you, like, and it'll be all NPCs will be the same unless we choose it not to be above the head. How far do we want it to float? So like, I think it's like in your picture, it's like hard to measure, dude. I don't know I'm so bad at measuring. One, two, three, four. Five, six, maybe seven. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, it's going right. We're just um, currently we're doing a marker here for when it's going too fast. But when you go to an NPC, which will be between the levels, you can talk to them. So just I mean, uh, making it so that a little prompt appears. Currently, you can't um, can't actually talk to them. But the aim is to get that done. We've got half the stream left, so I might be able to do that. This is only if draw prompt. We'll see how that looks. Oop, clung, sorry. Right, here we go in. Stupid black flash that I haven't got rid of yet. Okay, there we go. That's a bit too high. It works though. It's not animating yet. I forgot to animate it. That was crazy. He's like, um, animation just happened to like follow me then. It's set to random, so it's not intentional. Can you make it fade in quickly? I sure can. Sure can. Do you want it to animate during the fade in or not start its animation until it's faded? But yeah, that's absolutely a problem. Is that Goku? Are you Goku? Um Marker Alpha. Can you make you can, uh you can make it animate, yeah, okay. Right. Uh, it still doesn't animate yet. Um, you're not? You've not gone to the gym enough yet, then. Um, is zero, though, in the draw thing here, we'll have... Um, so we can just put... Uh, what was it? Prompt alpha? Fuck's sake. Alpha? 
marker alpha equals zero there, right? And then what we'll do is um, draw set alpha marker alpha, and then uh, prior that actually marker alpha plus equals Chain speed, which doesn't exist yet, and then just set it up to one at the end. Um, so I don't know how quick we want this fading speed, but I'll just put like fade in speed is like 0 0.1, so I'll take 10 frames, that's not much. Um, try not to try that many frames. I need to make it animate, I keep forgetting to make it animate. Let's do that as well. Um, so we have marker frame. So. Um, oh, we better put marker frame equals zero here as well. So when it goes away, it goes back to zero. I'm tempted to just put, like, just so this isn't doing that every frame, I'm just going to put a draw prompt. This just seems silly to have it do, like, three things every frame that it doesn't need to do. It just does one thing, which is check if we've got that true. Um... I'll turn it false, it'll do all that. Um, it needs to animate now, so... Um, if... What's it called? Marker... Frame... So I gotta set this. Good. Yeah, really good. We're putting our first NPC and it looks great. Um, yeah, this is Game Maker, which means you don't see so sharp. Yeah. You good? I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm doing good. Doing alright. Doing okay. Um, I'm just trying to get some speed here. Is that right? Oh, you know. Get some speed here is not a good thing to say. Finding the... It's on there. I'm so bad at like placing these guys in the right place. So the first one's 500. Um, it doesn't actually add yet. So marker frame. So we'll just put time speed um, equals. So 500, we did that last time, you just go up to 15 times, divided by 10. 0.032. If marker frame is greater than uh, 1, but is it greater than or equal to 1, can't remember which way around those go. Held to it, uh, the other way, because that looks awful. Then it needs to go to a hundred, which oh, what's it? That. Um, and then I just need to reset that when we leave. So let's do quite a lot of work that uh, that if check. And then just put marker speed. Uh, we'll do the alpha stuff there, and then we'll do the speed. Marker frame plus equals and speed. Okay, we can have a look at it now. See if the fading works. Game of the girl shooting the projectiles. Yeah, it's still coming along. Carla's been um, doing Inktober this month, so and um, me and left wanted to show this off. Um, soon, on like the 11th of November, so I've been working on this anyway, so it made sense to not do that yet, but we'll be, she'll come back. Oh, it doesn't fade out. It does fade in. Uh, is that too quick? It fades in. It looks quite nice. It, it goes away very suddenly. So I'm gonna um, have to think about that and change the way I do it. So, how are we going to do that? Yeah, Sai's done a really good job on the visual side of things. Fading speed. 
So, if draw prompt, so what we're going to have to do is if um, marker alpha, uh, oh, we can actually get rid of the zero then, equals, is equal to, or is less than or equal to zero. Should it bounce a bit? If it does, then yes. If it doesn't, then no. Um, we actually don't need that one anymore. So what we can do here is um, change in speed is equal to oh I only want to do this once if fading speed is uh, greater than zero um, keep it on one line fading speed I need to comment more, Jesus. I'll do that in a minute. Fading speed uh, minus equals fading speed. And what I'll do is I'll reverse it. I'll make it uh, go down. And then what you want to do is just in case they step back into it, well, we, we want to put fading speed. So... You want to swap that to that. If fading speed, and this time you want it, if fading speed is, um, so this will it'll be a minus number. If it's less than zero, then put it back. And, and in fact, do you know what? No, we don't need to do that there. We can just do it here, because we have to do it here anyway. If fading speed is um, less than zero, put it back. Right. Right. Make a comment on that code, Jesus. Um, I just realized as well. Um, we don't when the when it gets to zero. It it should it needs to change actually. Wait, do, do we ever make it go back to zero? No. But it seems to know. Okay, so if marker frame is greater than anim length, we have, do have an anim length here, right? No, but we can't use an. That's not wait. We can't use anim speed on both. They can't have like shared stuff here. That's got anim speed, so we're just gonna have to call this like marker, like everything, marker speed. Can't call it like. Stuff that other ones use. Okay, yeah, so we can't use anim length either, so we're gonna have to call it marker length. And we'll just put how many is it? Zustand, ähm, den zu restaurieren, dafür müsste ich halt einen Gameboy in einem super Zustand kaufen, was keinen Sinn macht. Also deswegen werde ich die, die, die kaputten, abgeranzten Gameboys werde ich für Mods. I'm back. Okay, so ignore the 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 thing here is working. Banana. Um. The only thing that's not working is, in my opinion, the camera, which is too nice here, and then, like, it needs to lower the amount. I think it's because it's the whole screen here. Maybe it's, like, too much. Like, 66% of the screen is there. If I cut this number down... Wait, we actually want to... Do we want to minus more? 
We actually want to minus more. What if I just minus cam width? Didn't we get stupid black flash? I hate it. Oh, that's worse. Oh, that's so much worse. How long does it take to catch up? It never catches up. The minus is too much. Oh, okay, so that's weird. I didn't expect that. I'm sort of me messing with stuff that I coded ages ago, so my memory of like the hows and whys is a bit fuzzy. I'm picking up the, I'm you know picking up my own logic against Lolly. A lot of the time, I like to see if I see stuff in action and pull it apart that way. It's easier than reading the code. Right there we go. That's much nicer. So that's at fifty percent. So we're like dead in the middle of the screen now. Um, it is like, yeah. So that's like if we're dead center. I think in, for this, it's probably better that it's dead center. You still don't move until you get to the middle of the screen, and then the screen picks up. But it does mean that you'll always move. Maybe I should make it a little bit bigger so you can, whichever side you're on, you'll. So there's like always a. If you change direction, it'd be nice if there's like a little bit of wiggle room rather than it instantly moving. Or is that not good? I don't know. I feel like it would be good. I'll try 5 5 and see how that looks. And then, oh, then it's NPC time. It's going to be awesome. I love that. Oh, no, that doesn't really make much of a difference. It's not really, it's not actually cutting it down. It's not like giving me a bit of wiggle room. All it's doing is just picking the bit of the screen that it stops scrolling on. Why is that? Thanks for the dragon's dog. Oh, you got your extra free vote. Nice. Last time it just didn't let anyone vote. Melio. How are we moving in the... How are we moving in the other one? In the Y room? I don't mind the... I think it's... In, is it instant in the Y room? Yeah, it is. It's like... Is it instant? So that's a nothing... Oh, well... Yeah, like, it's like instant movement. It's not like... When you change direction, there isn't a bit of wiggle room. The, it all bounces up and down with you. But in that case, though, they should be consistent. Okay, so it's... I don't know if it'd be better to have that have said wiggle room or not. How a lot of cameras work is there's like a box around you and it's not until you like when you touch the edge of the box you move the camera. But I've obviously not done it like that. And I remember going through this, but I can't remember why. I can't remember my logic as to why I didn't want that. And I don't know if it's just because it was like annoying as you go up because you're going up quite quickly i didn't know if it didn't give you enough room to like view but like obviously with the walls going up and down quite as much as that just worried uh they'll be disorientating now we'll have to see we'll have to see so we'd always be in like the center of the thing We could actually make it so that you can see a little further ahead. Actually, now I'm thinking I'm thinking the opposite now. Maybe make it so that you can see a little bit further ahead. Yeah, so 66, it's always putting us a third of the way up the screen. So you can always see two thirds ahead. I think it's smart, but it, I don't know if it'd be better if it wavered between like 6 and 66, you know. But there, that's... What do you think of that? Oh, that always puts us there even when we go backwards, though. There's an easy way to deal with that, that I can think of right away. Because when we turn around, we'd actually want to then change it, if we didn't have it halfway. Because that's quite nice, I think. You can see a lot of the room and it moves with you. That's not nice. So, let me think about that. Um, right.
right, so we're going to need um, VIR. Um, yeah, just put XX. Equals. Uh, no, uh, VRR XX, right? And then if. OBJ underscore. Wait, am I using player or following? I should use following in case we follow something else. If following. I mean, not the player, then it's not going to have, it'll probably be fine. Um, so I don't want it to like snap to it either. No, do you know what? I'm not going to mess with this right now. I'm going to look at, I'm going to, I'm going to have a think about this. I don't think this is a good idea to do on stream because it's, gonna drive me nuts I think we'll set it to 50 for now and then do the box like if I do the the box thing and then I can change this that where the box fits but I need to look at I need to get some help on that because my brain's not having that right now that's fine some stuff's not I'm gonna put it in my, my notes though so I didn't check the wall slider again that's actually kind of done Camera doesn't work, scrolling board doesn't work. What they do now? Good, good for me. So I'm just gonna. Um, There's a camera thing there. I'm gonna put it here. Um, camera. Try that, I think. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, so... I just realized you can probably just do that down here. Yeah, there's like a wiggle room thing. But before I screw with the camera... Yeah, just lock it up. Just do it later. Just do what you had planned. So, it's NPC time! Holy shit, so happy. So excited. So, there's quite a lot to do for this guy. There's a ton to do for this guy, actually. So, we'll first, we'll get our NPC in. So, this is going to be first NPC, I assume, we're going to meet. It's called NPC1. So, I'm going to put uh, SPR underscore NPC underscore flower knight. I don't know if it's a flower. I'm just going to put knight. I don't know. If we have other knights, then that'll cause a problem. But for now, it's fine. He's got loads of cool animations and stuff. He's got a few, and he looks sick. Cool as hell. So, uh, characters. Uh, effects enemies make characters. We need a new group, and we're going to call it NPCs. And stick him in there. And we're going to need a thing for him. We're going to need a mask, because he's got so many different stuff. But what is his size? He's a 50, 53 by 66 grid. So we want to make a new sprite. Uh, SPR NPC Knight Mask. And it's 5366. Grab a frame and stick it in there. So all these, you can go to that one. Um, what we want to do is we just nab him, like here, nab this guy. So how many pixels is he away? He's one pixel away from the border and his feet touch the ground. I love pixel art for this kind of stuff, it's so much easier. But you can get it exact. The image, oh that says 52. Must have mistyped it. Needs to be exactly the same size, so I'm gonna double check I didn't mess that up now. No, it's 53, I must have mistyped it. So we have him here and it's gonna go like that. So that if this if we ever see this, something's gone wrong. He sits like that, right? There's his mask. And um I guess we want it bottom middle, I guess. But yeah, that's a good place for his sprite origin, I think. Excellent. 
So, we got our knight now, and we need to make an object. Make another group for NPCs. And create... I'm going to make an object, I guess, and call it... Um, OBJ underscore talkable. So this is like all the stuff you can... Or maybe just OBJ underscore NPCs. this way when you go up and press on an NPC um, they can all react in under a system they can use the same system and then we're gonna go obj objects and obj underscore NPC underscore um, I call them right also I, the fact that I've used caps is annoying there uh, we'll call it obj parent I think NPCs and then if we go to our knight, we can set a sprite that rhymes. Boom. And um, then we can. Oh no, don't change that. Oh wait. Can we go to the parent? The uh, objects. I'm guessing they're all going to react like differently. They're all going to, you know, like animate differently. So now I'm going to animate, do his animation here, uh, but do the talky stuff in the parent. Right. So, as different animations, I need to make sure I get these right. So, we've got an idle animation, and, I, and then here there's like a random one. And then when you talk to him, that's awesome. So, okay. So we're gonna have uh, in the create event. This is like deal with animation. Uh, I'm gonna do event inherited uh, because they will no doubt to inherit the event, and then animation. So we're gonna have anim state equals zero, and may maybe I'll do an enumerate. No, yeah, just do one. And we're gonna have idle, and we're gonna have. Um, Idle, random, oh, that's a thing, rand, and we're going to have talking, right? And those are three, like, states of animation that you can be in, and then he's got, so a lot, he'll start idle, right? So, with him being idle, right, we've got to now look at some other things. So, he's got, damn, got a lot of stuff going on. So, we're going to need frame width and frame height. Uh, which was 5366. Frame width and frame height, and we're going to have X frame, which is 0. And Y frame, which is 0. Um, and then we need uh, an anim length. We'll have anim length idle, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Anim length. Uh, what's the other one? We got idle. And then you've got a random, which is six, and then anim, plan, talk, and that's a much bigger one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Big animation. It's a lot of, a lot of work by side. So, and then you want anim length. Equals anim length 
idle, just to get it going. Um, and then you want Adam speed. Um, now, are these all going to be the same? I doubt it. I don't think so. Okay, they've got like crazy differences, which is fine. I've done this all before. But it starts at 150, so what's 150? 150 is 0 0.12, so that's fine. Um, put them ourselves, so that's absolutely fine. That's great. So now what we want to do is go to the draw then. Draw. Uh, draw his animation. So, um, it's going to pick all the different things. We can actually copy this from anything else that's already got. We do need to do that. So, this is what I need here. Oh, we got like X offsets and Y offsets. That's a really good point. So, I'm not going to sprite. I'm just going to put SBR underscore... Uh, NPC night zero floor X frame frame width. We have X frame and frame width and everything. Yeah, X frame frame height plus three. I don't think we need a plus three. Um, frame width frame height. We don't need that. And X offset Y offset. So we'll get those two. So um, X offset. Equal sprite. Oh god, what's the command for this? Really annoying. There. I could just use those. I don't know why I don't. Wouldn't that be easier? I just use those. Sometimes you have to change it. So in the player we have to change it. That'll be why. Whereas the, this guy's isn't going to change, so that's absolutely fine. So we don't need these. So what we need to do next is um, make it move. So let's draw character. And then what we need to do here is uh, animate. And so it's anim. No, x frame plus equals anim feed. If X frame, I should have script. I use this all the time. I don't know why I don't have this as a script. It'd be super useful. I'm not gonna do it now though. Is greater than anim length. X frame is zero. I use that all the time. Right, he doesn't like this. Oh, there we go. I just plonk him in the res Rest bit area, and he, he won't be able to well, like, talk to him or anything yet. But, oh god, I can't even see him. Dude, I can't fucking see him because it's so dark. Ah! He's there, so if I just make him touch the ground. He should just do his regular idle animation only. He's just doing it. He's just out here doing it. Look at him. He's just going for it. Hell yeah. Hey. How you doing? He's huge. He's so terrifying. Look at him. I'm just a little guy and he's just this big old dude. Um, hell yeah. Okay, that's sick. Is that actually where he stands? I didn't really look. I just plonked him somewhere. Have a look. Uh, no, it's not. He doesn't, because you won't be able to talk to him up there very well. He stands on this here, actually. Now, do we want him... Does his, his feet... I'm guessing he's got, like, the... Like that. I have this guide open. I should just guide open at all times. I want to see if his feet have got one pixel or not. They do. Okay, make sure we've got the one pixel. Okay, so every... Um... So what we're going to do is swap his state 
every 7 to 12 seconds. Now that is fine, I can do that. So, what we want to do then is, um, so that's like atom states here, so this is like all drawing stuff, so just keep that there. Um, so we've got atom state is zero, and then what we want to do is every 7 to 12 seconds, we want to make him do the random, uh, so we'll put like change to rand. Random is false, right? And then alarm zero um, equals choose, not choose, um, we want uh, I random range. And it's seven times room speed, twelve times room speed. So that's gonna choose between seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and set the alarm to go off. And that'll change that. So we can make that alarm. So alarm zero. This is do random animation, and uh, we're gonna put. Um, change to random is true. Wait, do we? No, we don't need that. We don't need change to. No, we don't need this. Don't don't do that. That's silly. So what we can just do is put um, anim states equals anim states dot random. X frame equals zero. Now, why am I even bothered with the states? I might just do it all in here. I might get rid of the states. We'll see. Why for it? Yeah, I might as well just do it here. It's kind of silly not to. Um, what am I doing? Y frame is one. And um, hey Taylor. Jesus, I hope you uh, haven't started your car yet. You can't be text, text twitching. It's, no, that's not right. Drive twitching. Thanks to disco. Animation length equals anim length. God, why does it pick stuff from other ones? Like, why does it do that? Um. Anim speed. Yeah, because I could just use Y frame to control it. I'm getting rid of this shit, I can't be asked. Just go away. All sucks. Um and we'll just put this to the bottom. Change to random anim. Okay. So Anim speed, what's the anim speed? So he is 70, 70, 50, 5, 70, 70, 50, 500, 100, 500, 70. God damn, that's a lot of changes. Um, but we can sort that out, no problem. So what are we starting on here? We're starting on a 70. 70 is 0.3. Right, and then in the draw event, I guess. We, we can do it in the draw then, I'm pretty certain, without any issues. And what we can just do is uh, change and speed. And just put if Y frame is um, on. So this is for the random one. If X frame is uh, is less than three or X frame is great. So you guys can't see that way. It starts with two seventies and it ends with a seventy, so they need to be the same. 
Um, or it's where one, two, three, four, five, six. Or just if it equals. Oh no, if it's. Gr you can't. Yeah. Let's do it greater than five. Anim speed equals 0.23, we said, right? Else if. Um, X frame. Else if floor X frame. Probably the easiest way of doing it. Floor X frame equals. Uh, two, th one, two, three, four. Oh, that works. Yeah, it must do. Yeah. Like, someone else floats. Oh, mm. What, because, no. Five, wouldn't it? No, yeah, it's worked so far. Let's just see if it works. And speed equals whatever 100 is. 0.16 else x rim no we haven't had a 500 yet but I guess it's just 0.16 divided by 5 0.032. Oh yeah, I could have just divided the 51. That's fine. Okay. I want him to stay in this um, mode, so I'm not going to set him to the cart because I just want to test that those are correct. So eventually he'll hit that mode and he'll just stay in it. Which is a-okay. It'll take him 7 to 10 seconds, or 7 to 12 seconds to get there. He does his normal animation. Okay. He, um... Got stuck. <laughs> well, that's fun. Wait, he doesn't just turn his head, though, right? Does he? Is that all he does? Just, like, turn his head? Oh, he does! He just turns his head, and then he needs to go back. He's actually stuck. So that's fine. He's actually meant to get stuck. But we need to see... Um, are those the right number of frames? Probably not. I don't know where the long one is, so I'm going to record it and find out. So it's quite a quick animation. I didn't realize how quick it would be. So... Dude, it's, so, it's very fast. I didn't expect it to be so quick. Okay, that's actually not helpful at all. Let me have a look at the frames and which one's meant to be the longest. So when he turns away... Oh, there's another frame, like, after he turns away that doesn't seem to be even playing. I'm done. Oh, I, I did it. So he, like, turns away. I don't know why his eyes blink out, but I don't think that's actually true. I think that's... He has the blood. Oh no, they do blink out. They blink out on the 100. No, that's good. They are meant to blink out. That's awesome. But then they don't blink out anymore. Oh, they blinked out there though. Are they blink out every time? No, I don't know. It doesn't. That doesn't look right. So if X frame is less than 3 or greater than 5. We always do if X frame is greater. Yeah, because it rounds down. Down. It rounds down. So that's actually like 0 to 0.99. Yeah, okay. I've not done this right. I've not done this right. That's why. Okay. So it's actually, you got to take one off. So let's go back to the drawing board. So it's 0, 1, and. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, it's 5, though. How did I get that right? 
It was actually 0, 1, 2. If it's less than 2, because yeah, that'll get us to 2, okay. So, and then if the floor of X-ray is 0, 1, 2, 3, then it's that one, else it's 0. 0.332. Let's see if that looks any better. Oh, I've done that wrong. Just gonna watch him. He won't change back, he'll just get stuck in a loop again. It's not a very nice loop for him, because he's gonna break his little neck, but... It's so quick. Okay, I'm gonna make him change back because I can't tell from that's not very helpful. So um if it goes to that then equals one and then I'm just gonna put um change from change back to idle if uh X frame does not equal no if Y frame sorry If Y frame is greater than zero, because I think we'll want this to happen no matter what he's doing, as so long as he's not doing, uh, he's idle. So it's greater than zero and it goes to there. Y frame equals zero. X frame's already gone to zero and alarm. And then just do this again. It resets the alarm, okay? Doing all right. We're like not halfway through the stream yet. We've got an NPC in there. We've got his camera working and stuff. Good agree. Right. Okay. So he's there. Did he even do it? Did he do it? I feel like he tried to do something. Oh no! Then he's stuck again. Hmm. Something's not right. Wait, I don't know, that should work. Because it'll play this first. What's going on here? Have I set the random one wrong? Is it... Two, three, four, it's six. It's six. Uh... He's getting stuck, he's not changing. Oh, we're not changing... Oh, that, I mean, that's, that needs to change anyway, so we will change that. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's fine, we can, yeah, that's all, that's all good. So just do anim. Anim speed equals whatever it starts on. 0.12. This isn't going to fix our problem, but an anim length. Equals anim. Uh, God, there's so many in here. Anim length, idle. Okay, that did need to be fixed, to be fair. So, a slight issue here is that it doesn't seem to ever get to the end. It seems to go back to zero and just start, like, freaking out. It's not reset the alarm or anything. Why is like freaking out like that? Wait, that's why. That's why I made a typo. That's why. It was like resetting his X frame over and over again instead of resetting his um his animation speed. Seven to twelve seconds is quite a long time. Oh, that's perfect. The animation speed looks right. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Damn, it's, it takes quite a while.
Hi, if you're there, do you like the 7 to 12 seconds? It looked, the animation looks so good. Yes, you like that? Okay, I'll leave it at that then. Feels like a long time, but then again, we're not talking to him yet. I take it you want me to do that in speech too, right? Because that's the only time you're going to see it. <laughs> it's like when you're talking, I guess he's like, oh shit, is there anyone behind? No, okay. Okay, so now we got to deal with speech. So, no, they're never going to see it then. Because <laughs> they're not going to spend 7 to 12 seconds in front of him. They're going to see him, and then they're going to talk to him. So that's like a second, maybe two, if they're slow, if they're like looking around, maybe three tops. And then they're going to talk to him, and then they're going to walk off. Uh, and by the time the animation plays, they're going to be about here. Because then death, no one's spending 12 seconds there. But I can make it so that doesn't happen. Okay, so I think it's fine. We can't talk to him yet, so just remember to do that. Okay, so. Oh, I haven't thought about this. With the NPC marker. It's near the NPC. Okay, that's fine. Talk to them. If you aren't near the NPC, don't skip. Fine. I think the NPCs need a bigger hitbox than they are. That's not going to be big enough. So. Let's make his bounding box bigger. So, in terms of his, like, collision mask, we're gonna want that. So, how far do you have to be to talk to him? Just realize when we talk to him, can we walk to here or something? Maybe make it, like, that big. That's pretty big. Okay, we'll try that for now. Um, okay, we can delete that. 